business. We were, we were talking about leadership. Yes, correct. You know, um, being minority. a minority and being a woman. You know, is it is it something that is an issue or it doesn't matter? Absolutely. It huge doesn't matter. Challenge. No, no, it's definitely a, a huge challenge that mm -hmm. I have to Which overcome. one is harder, being a minority or being a woman? So first for me, uh, again, when I first came to Australia, I never thought my gender was going to make any difference because right. since I grew up in Singapore, even though, you know, the Asian culture is a very uh, patriarchal one, mm -hmm. um, you know, I've always been told that if I excel, if I do well, I'm not going to be an issue. There's not going to be an issue. And also, I worked for American Express uh, after I graduated, and um, all my role models were women. So that was not a, an issue uh -huh. playing up in, a head, in my head when so I came here. You were lucky enough to have a good company with yes, good yes, gender equality yeah. culture. A absolutely. And uh -huh. the, the, the women in my organization, the manager, the director, the VP back then in American Express, Asia Pacific headquarters, were amazing role mm -hmm. models. So I never thought I would have an issue. So same mm -hmm. thing. So when I came here, I never quite noticed the gender challenge. I noticed the race mm -hmm. challenge and the cultural challenge. So as Asian, we are often been told, mm -hmm. be seen but never heard. So like, how do you yeah. very quickly, as, as tips, right? Mm -hmm. um, I'm quite sure you would have a certain technique to overcome that very quickly <laughs> and, and win people's confidence and, 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 and respect. Right away. Mm. What what do you normally do? Is it like the very fast accent, <laughs> or, or no. the, you know the, the, the ability to utter out seventy no. uh, SDG goals, you <laughs> no. know, and they, you know just just get them from the yeah. how No, does it work? no. I think um, how, how do we people, respect? People, I mean, physically we are not as big or tall uh -huh. as uh, Caucasians, right. so physical presence you is something that we have now. to work on. High heels. High heels. Yeah. Heels. No, I'm kidding. Heels no. Help. Oh, <laughs> Please help. and then body posture. You walk in and you uh -huh. just try and own the room. So you know, for Asians, we uh -huh. tend to be a little bit more humble. So if you don't respect yourself, no one will respect absolutely, you. Absolutely, absolutely. And right. there are courses where you can take uh -huh. to learn how to have that posture. Because very often I will walk into a room and people often ask me, you know, if, are you the student? <laughs> and yes. I said, no, I'm actually the speaker. So I realized that I have to <laughs> overcome that challenge and, and well, either look older or well, try to... What, well, have big hair? <laughs> no, the Indonesian Thai Thai. <laughs> <laughs> so for some people, they think that, okay, if you, if you dress different or if uh -huh. you're unique, people remember you. I totally agree. Uh -huh. uh, visually, that, that definitely makes an impact. Uh -huh. But, but I also, the last five minutes, but absolutely. the rest of it, what, what do you do? <laughs> the rest of it, basically, just watch, observe, and basically speak from your heart. So do you I have think to work harder important. than Absolutely, you have to. You mm -hmm. have to. And also, it's also a culture where we're very polite. So yeah. when people are talking, we don't interrupt. Right? So but interrupt. when we talk, we get interrupted all the time. Uh -huh. So you push so, your elbow. No, no. I mean, so okay, you when don't I was, to play that game. I have to say, I have to say, when I was younger, uh -huh. I always thought that, yes, I have to speak with a lower tone. I have to be louder. I have to... Um, be more masculine in order to assert myself uh, and I think to some extent that works but then slowly you a little bit of your identity gets lost right. I don't want to be a man right. I'm quite happy being a woman right. I don't want to be anybody else but a Chinese mm -hmm. I'm being I'm proud of being Asian and I don't want to be anything else no, other remind than me Asian. of that movie <laughs> you know what crazy rich Asians <laughs> yes and so I think you know, it's, it's all part of maturity and growing up, you know, embracing your own culture and our culture is full of beauty, even mm -hmm. though we also have our own idiosyncrasy. So we just need to balance it out, pick the best from the world and maintain your own identity, find your own voice. What advice do you have for young women? Yeah. I would, uh, this is your yeah. FAQ, isn't it? Yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I get to ask this question all the time. All the time. What's your favorite answer? My favorite answer is to lead with risk-taking attitude and also stand behind your values. You know, when you hit a roadblock, when people are looking down on you because of your age, because of your race, or because, you know, you're not pretty enough, or because you're not smart enough, it doesn't matter. The most important thing is dare to challenge, dare to speak up, take the mm -hmm. risk, take up any opportunities that come your way because you never know what doors it's going to open. And number two, Whenever you get attacked, stand behind your values because that's something that people can admire and people can respect. And so always remember these two things. And part of taking risks is also being daring and asking for more. 
you know, putting your head down, doing all the hard work, it's not going to cut it. You've got to be asking for opportunities. You've got to be willing to say, this is what I'm good at. It would be great if I could be given this opportunity. Can I do that? Just give me a try. And, and just be thick-skinned about it and, and, and put yourself forward. That's universal advice not only for women. Mm. I'm going to do that. For men too. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. A absolutely, yeah. Wow, this has been such a treat. Thank I'll you. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. Yeah.